Join me as I take on the challenge of breaking free from my ruminating thoughts and finding inner peace in just one week. Rumination, the act of repetitively thinking about negative thoughts, emotions, or experiences, is a common obstacle that stands in the way of achieving inner peace. When we ruminate, we get stuck in a cycle of negative thinking, reliving the same painful memories and emotions over and over again. This can lead to feelings of anxiety, depression, and hopelessness, making it seem like inner peace is an unattainable goal. Many of us have been there, stuck in a vicious cycle of negative thoughts, unable to break free from the constant chatter in our minds. We try to distract ourselves, but our minds always find a way to wander back to those painful thoughts. We feel like we're losing control, and our mental well-being begins to deteriorate. We start questioning our self-worth, and our relationships with others begin to suffer. Rumination can be a lonely and isolating experience, making it difficult to reach out for help. But there is a way out. Rumination can also lead to rumination anxiety, where we become anxious about the very thought of ruminating. This creates a sense of dread, making us feel like we're walking on eggshells, constantly waiting for the other shoe to drop. We become hypervigilant, always on the lookout for potential threats, and our nervous system is in a constant state of high alert. It's exhausting, both mentally and physically. The worst part is that rumination can be so subtle, so sneaky. We may not even realize we're doing it until it's too late until we're knee-deep in anxiety and stress. We may think we're just thinking about the past, rehashing old memories, but in reality, we're perpetuating a cycle of suffering. But we can take back control. We need to develop practical strategies to manage our thoughts and emotions to break free from ruminating patterns. One powerful technique is mindfulness. Being present in the moment allows us to catch ourselves when we start to ruminate. We can recognize the thought patterns, acknowledge them, and gently redirect our focus to the present. It's not about suppressing our emotions or avoiding our thoughts, it's about learning to observe them without judgment. This practice empowers us to take charge of our mental well-being. Cognitive restructuring is another powerful tool in our arsenal. By identifying and challenging our negative thought patterns, we can learn to reframe our thinking more positively and realistically. This takes practice, patience, and self-compassion, but the benefits are well worth it. We can learn to see things from a different perspective and find the silver lining in even the darkest clouds. Self-compassion is key to breaking free from rumination. We need to learn to be kind to ourselves and treat ourselves with the same kindness and understanding that we would offer to a good friend. When we're stuck in rumination, we often beat ourselves up over our perceived failures, our perceived shortcomings. But this only perpetuates the cycle of suffering. By practicing self-compassion, we can learn to treat ourselves with kindness, acknowledge our imperfections, and move forward with greater ease. I remember a specific moment in my life when I realized I needed to make a change. I was stuck in a cycle of rumination, reliving the same painful memories over and over again. I felt lost, alone, and helpless. But one day, I decided that I'd had enough. I started practicing mindfulness, cognitive restructuring, and self-compassion. It wasn't easy, and it wasn't quick. But with time, patience, and effort, I noticed a shift. I started to feel more present, more grounded, more at peace. I remember the first time I caught myself ruminating and was able to redirect my focus to the present. It was like a weight had been lifted off my shoulders. I realized that I wasn't a slave to my thoughts and that I had the power to choose what I wanted to focus on. It was a breakthrough moment that changed the course of my life. In conclusion, breaking free from ruminating patterns is possible. It takes effort, patience, and practice, but the results are well worth it. Incorporating mindfulness, cognitive restructuring, and self-compassion into our daily lives allows us to manage our thoughts and emotions and find greater inner peace. So, I encourage you to take the first step today. Start practicing mindfulness, challenge your negative thought patterns, and treat yourself with kindness. Remember, inner peace is attainable, and it's worth fighting for. 
Thanks for watching, and if you have any personal experiences with rumination that you'd like to share, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to check out my next video on mindfulness techniques for further support, and let's continue this journey towards inner peace together.